my name is Kat, and today I will be doing my March wrap up. The books I read in March. So March was kind of a weird reading month for me. I didn't do a whole lot of reading in the beginning of the month, and then all of a sudden we had five days left in March, and I had five books to read to stay on top of my goal, and I was just... Oh, panicking! Fortunately, I can say that currently, in this moment right now, I am on track with my reading challenge. I do have to read a book tonight, but other than that, I am on track! I am doing the 100 book challenge this year, which means I have to read 8 to 9 books a month. In January, I read 8 books. In February, I read 8 books. In March, I was supposed to read 9 books, and I read 9 books, kind of. Um, just like last month, I have some explaining to do, and some books count for other months, and let's just begin, shall we? So the first book that I finished for March was Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, and I started this book at the end of February, but I did not finish it in time, so I finished it in March, and I put up a book review, which you can watch right here. It's right here! Click it if you want! You don't have to click it. Just saying. I really enjoyed this book. I loved the characters, and I am so excited to continue the series. I did think that this book was really reliant on the other books of the trilogy. Uh, this one by itself doesn't really make for a standalone story. I mean, the book ends right when things are getting really good! So I'm very much looking forward to continuing this series. I have Sapphire Blue already on my shelf in the background. Maybe you can see it, I don't know. But Emerald Green, the third book in the trilogy, comes out in October, and I'm just, I'm looking forward to both of them. Even though I finished it and reviewed it in March, I am counting this as a February book. So this does not count toward my March reading list. Okay? So the first book that I read in March that I am counting as a March book was The Archived by Victoria Schwab. And I also did a review of that book, which you can check out right here if you want. Go for it! I really enjoyed this book. I love Victoria Schwab's writing style, and the world in this one was so different from anything else I'd read before. And while I felt that Ruby Red was the first book in a trilogy but was really heavily reliant on the other books to make it a complete story, I felt like this book was the first book in a trilogy but could almost be considered a standalone. There are some lingering questions that you want to know more about, but otherwise this is a complete story within itself and the first book in a trilogy, and I'm just really looking forward to reading more. After reading The Archived, I went into trilogy mode, and I read Delirium by Lauren Oliver, Pandemonium, the second book in the Delirium series, also by Lauren Oliver, and Requiem, the third and final book in the Delirium trilogy, also by Lauren Oliver. Surprise! And after completing the trilogy, I picked up Delirium Stories, which is three short stories set in the Delirium world. And I actually didn't read this right after the trilogy, I read it just a couple days ago, but I'm including it with this because they go together, okay? It's a set. I really enjoyed this trilogy, this series. I love Lauren Oliver's writing. She continues to be one of my favorite authors. And even though I felt like Requiem wasn't a super strong ending to the trilogy, I still loved it overall and definitely recommend it. And I am super excited about the Delirium TV show. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm concerned, but excited. I'm gonna watch it. I will be doing a trilogy review on the entire series very soon, so I will share more of my thoughts there. After finishing the Delirium trilogy, I went for another trilogy, and that was the Infernal Devices trilogy, starting with Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Clockwork Prince is book two in the series, and Clockwork Princess is book three, the final book in the trilogy, which just came out this month, and oh my gosh, it was so good. Just like Delirium, I'm going to do a review on the entire trilogy very soon here, but just know that I loved it. Especially Clockwork Princess. In fact, this might be my new favorite book so far this year. 
It was excellent. And finally, the ninth book that I am counting toward my March goal, because remember Ruby Red is a February book, and actually this book I technically finished last night, which is an April book, but it counts for March because I'm in charge here, okay? And The Lightning Thief counts for March. That's right, I read The Lightning Thief, book one in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. I am so glad that you guys kept pestering me to read it because it was amazing and I'm going to read the entire series now. Not now, but soon. From the world, to the characters, to the story, just I literally have zero complaints about this book. I got nothing. It was really refreshing to read this book because it's more of a middle grade book, I would classify it, or a very young YA book. But after reading the Delirium trilogy and the Infernal Devices trilogy, it was a nice break from the romantic angst. This book was great and I am definitely going to devour the rest of the series. Alright, those are all of the books that I read last month for the month of March. Thank you very much for watching. I will have my April TBR video up very soon, so it's coming! Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye!